Hi everybody and welcome to the first um, cooking class in Italian Vegan. Now, let me just tell you for a second before we start, uh, before we start cooking. Let me tell you for a second why um, we decided to do this. Uh, simply because there is, there is so much, so much that you hear about, uh, you know, vegan, vegan recipe and so many complicated things that you find, uh, you find on the internet. Um, but uh, Italian cooking is often naturally vegan um, because so many recipes are based on, on bread, pasta, rice, plus, plus vegetables. I mean, at the time of, uh, of uh, when, when my dad was young, for example, you know, meat and fish were things that were consumed once or twice a year. So the rest of the year, uh, you know, the, 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 old, uh, the, the diet was based on, uh, on, on vegetables, on pulses, on, you know, rice, pasta, bread. Uh, and that's why it is the Mediterranean diet uh, is, is so healthy and, and is imitated all over the world. So we, we decided to, 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 to do this because to show you that you don't need to invent weird and wonderful things to, you know, to eat, to eat vegan, uh, vegan recipes. And there are so many Italian recipes that are so naturally delicious and, and, and based on, on, uh, on vegan principles. So what we will what we do, we're going to go through um, some of the classics, you know, the, the Italian uh, basics. Um, and so at the same time, you can learn to cook some, uh, some dishes, uh, but also you can learn some of the, um, some of the uh, things that we do when we cook Italian, uh, Italian food. Sorry, before we carry on, can I please ask, ask you all to, to mute yourself um, for the moment, because I can hear a lot of background noise. Uh, that that's going to be recorded as well. Um, so if you could please mute yourself, that would be great. Um, so what, what I was saying, uh, while we are going through uh, and uh, the different recipes, I will I will tell you a little bit as, as well about how we how we cook Italian food. Okay, so today we're cooking spaghetti aglio e olio, okay, which is one of the basic uh, basic. Uh, recipes in Italian cooking and it's also the base for a lot of them for, for, for a lot of combinations uh, with, other, with other ingredients. So the main ingredients today are, you know, apart from the spaghetti or linguine, whatever you prefer to use, are uh, garlic, parsley and if you like a little bit of chili. Um, so if you don't like garlic, tough luck. Okay, because it's, it's really the main, the main ingredient of, of this. But there are ways that if you, if, you don't, if you don't like to eat a lot of garlic, there are ways that you can minimize the use of it. Uh, what we will need for cooking is, well, first of all, a kind of like a five liter pot uh, where, to, where we cook the pasta. Um, I, I'm asked a lot about what do you do when you cook pasta? Do you put oil in the water, et cetera, et cetera? It, it's, we don't put any oil in the water because it's just a waste of, of very good olive oil. Um, you only need a, a, a pan that is kind of like large enough to have, you know, to, to, so, that the, so that the pasta can, can freely swirl in there uh, without, without any problem. You don't really want to use a small pan because then that will get the pasta to stick to itself and, and will, will, cause, uh, will cause problems. Then I use kind of like a frying pan, something like this. I like to use one that has got quite a, quite a high border because we'll be finishing off the pasta in the, in the, in the frying pan. And obviously we will need a colander, okay, to uh, uh, once, once the pasta finishes, finishes cooking. As for the ingredients, um, you can see here, uh, we need some, uh, some garlic, some fresh garlic. Uh, then here yeah, I just have a nice bunch of fresh parsley. Okay, so just uh, just um, uh, just washed and dried. Sorry, I dropped some on the floor. Okay, and then and then we'll um, obviously you know if you if you're cooking um, along with me, obviously wash the parsley before you before you use it. I have washed it and dried it already. So, um, um, so it's ready to be used. Um, the other thing I wanted to uh, discuss with you is what we'll be using uh, for, for cooking. Now, there are, it's, it's very important what type of pasta you're using. Okay, sorry, is there anybody else that's trying to get in? 
Sorry, just a second. Let me just double check. Um, okay, so these are the two the two types of uh, of pasta that we'll be using. For people who don't have any problem with uh, gluten free, uh, this is the best made pasta that you can that you can buy. Okay, it's called the uh, Dicecco. Um, and um, whether you use spaghetti or linguine is uh, is a matter of uh, is a matter of taste. I prefer using uh, linguine, and this is what I'll be cooking today. Can you can you see? Can I say close up? Uh, linguine because they they have got a slightly different texture. They are the spaghetti are round, where the linguine are slightly flat. So they got more of a surface that can um, uh, that can then absorb. Uh, more uh, better the sauce that you that you that you prepare. If you have a, if you have a problem like me, um, that um, you, you know you can't eat any any gluten, this is the best one the best one that I found, um, which is a very like gluten free gluten free pasta, and it's it's the only one I've tried many different ones. This is the only one that um, it actually is good and keeps. Keeps a good um, um, a good texture when you cook it, and it's quite you can cook it al dente. Okay, so what we'll be doing now, um, uh, we'll go through uh, the process of, of cooking. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll start. This is a what we're doing today is one of those things that you can cook while the pasta is getting ready. So you don't need to you don't need to prepare the uh, the sauce in advance. You can do it. It's literally once you put the pasta in the in the pot and it starts cooking, you can prepare your sauce because it only takes five minutes. Okay. So um, first of all, we put the water on for the pasta, so we can start. It can start warming up. I put it on a low heat at the moment because so we can chat a little bit. Um, now always start, please, with fresh water, uh, cold water. Don't. Don't get tempted to just uh, boil the water in the kettle and put it in there because it does, it does have a funny, a funny taste. Oh, by the way, while I'm, while I'm, uh, I'm doing this, if you, have, um, if you have a question and you want to ask something, please unmute yourself and, um, and, and you, can, uh, you, can ask me, you can ask me a question. So while we're doing this, uh, I forgot actually, the other ingredient that we will need is extra virgin olive oil. Luca. Yes, here I am. Is there salt in the pot with the water? Do we need to put salt in it? At the moment, there is nothing. I will show you. I will show you all the different, all the different steps. We don't ah, use okay. water to begin with, simply because it takes longer to, um, ah, to cook. Okay. So we, we only Thank have salt at the moment when the, when the water is boiling, just before we put the pasta in. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just get one glass. Okay, um, how much olive oil you use, uh, it depends on how many people you're cooking for. Um, today I am going to, um, I'm going to be used 300 grams of, of dry pasta. And this is enough, it depends if you're cooking as a, as a main course, or as a um, just just a, as part of a of a larger meal, because um, as I suppose the first the first thing I, I just take I just take for granted an Italian meal normally is formed by uh, by um, three or four parts, which is first of all you have your your starters or antipasti, then you'll have a first course which is generally a dish of pasta or, or rice like a risotto, uh, then you will have the main course. Which traditionally is having meat, fish, or obviously a, a vegetarian alternative, and then uh, you have this, uh, you'll have something with the main course, which will be like a, another dish of, uh, of vegetable, like a salad or, or some 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 vegetables on the side, uh, and then you have your your dessert and, and fruit and, and so on, and coffee. Don't forget the coffee at the end. So um, it depends how much oil we put in. It depends on how many people you're cooking for, how much pasta you're putting in. Um, I am uh, um, cooking. If you if you're cooking as a main course, I will use generally about between 125 and 150 grams of pasta. <clears throat> like so, today I'm be cooking 300 grams 
which is enough uh, enough for, for two people as a as a main course. Okay. Look, so how much how much water do you put in a pasta to cook pasta? I have about this is a five liter pot. Uh, and, and I, like I, fill, it. I fill it up for about two thirds. So we're talking okay. about three three and a half. Generally, generally you use about um, at least one liter of pasta of water for every hundred grams of pasta. Okay. Okay. But you can have you can have more. You know, obviously that not, nothing happens, but not less. Okay, because otherwise it tends to stick. So I'll be using about a hundred a hundred grams of of olive oil. So as you can see, a lot of the things we do are kind of like um, not exactly measured because that's the way we are being built up. So uh, this is about roughly about 100, 100 grams of, of, of olive oil, as you can see, which is, it can seem, you know, obviously it's, it's one of the main ingredients for the pasta. We're not, we're not having a sauce, so you need to have quite a little bit of olive oil in there. Um, and now we'll uh, come to the, to the garlic. Mm -hmm. I say this is enough for, for two people. Um, it, it would be the same quantity of garlic really for about, for about four people. We have got about uh, six cloves of garlic there. Okay, so <clears throat> what I am doing it depends if you really like garlic or if you don't. I mean, people for people who don't like to eat a lot of garlic, you can leave you can leave the cloves as, as they are and then remove them at, at the end. But, um, I really like it, so I I rather uh, crush it and and put it in there in the, in little pieces. So let me just I'll just grab a garlic crusher a bit and I start basically crushing crushing the garlic in the olive oil. So one by one. <clears throat> so we, start, we, start, we are talking about social distancing. So this is a very good way of keeping your social distance because nobody would ever want to get too close to you after you eating all this garlic. Luca? Yeah? If it's one person, how many cloves of garlic? I would say two, two or three. Two or three, great, thanks. Yeah, it's it's so much. It's 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 to taste really. If you like garlic a lot, use more. If you don't like it so much, use less. But um, as long as you put a couple couple in there, you're fine. Okay, so almost there. There's already a nice, a nice aroma of garlic in, in this kitchen. Okay, so who's cooking along with me? How many people are actually attempting this live? Are you Rosalind? I'm cooking. Oh, very good. Very good. So, this is uh, the other the other main ingredient, which is the parsley. Can you can you see? Can you see the nice this nice bunch of parsley? Okay. What what I do first, I pretty much cut off all the the big the big stalks. They're in here, um, because we'd be using we'd be using the rest of the leaves right at the end. That um. As for the um, as for the stalks, I would actually cut them up, cut them up in little pieces and start and start cooking them straight away because they take a little bit longer, a little, a little bit longer than there to cook and they're a little bit harder. But we don't throw anything away because this is all this is very good and uh, all the vitamins are in the stalks and a lot of the flavor as well. So we don't really want to waste anything. How much parsley, Luca? <laughs> you can see a nice, a nice, a nice bunch. Okay, quite a lot. Okay. Well, it's again depending on how much you have. And we we buy parsley in industrial quantities because our rabbits love it. 
<laughs> so we always have that. Uh, we always have lots of parsley in the fridge. Uh, I feel a little bit guilty sometimes because, like, I'm stealing the rabbit's food. Um, but um, and that's that's the way it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the um, the pan on. So you want to really on a on a very low on a very low setting because we don't need we don't need to to really cook these ingredients for long. So we just want you to gently to gently simmer in the olive oil. So this is the scissor. And I put all these all this garlic they have cut up in there with it. And while this is going on, I'll give you a little bit of a stir. While this is starting um, to cook, I'll turn the water, I'll turn the water back up because now that we start in the sports, it won't take very long. So we want to be ready to put the pasta in soon. Okay, so while that is cooking, I'll, I'll cut up the rest of the, uh, the pasta. <clears throat> and I, I must say that parsley and garlic is a, is a marriage made in heaven. It's really a really a wonderful combination and it is the base for um, a lot of Italian dishes. Uh, for example, if you, you know, not if you're vegan, but if you eat, if you eat, uh, for example, fish or shellfish, this is the base of, of a lot of, um, a lot of those dishes that you, would have, you might have tried when you were away from holiday. <clears throat> But, um, you know, as, as you can see, a lot of the ingredients that we use in Italian cooking are based on whatever is, is fresh and available at the time. And uh, to, to be successful in Italian cooking, you have to have access to, to good fresh ingredients. Um, and and, and it is, uh, Italian cooking is very seasonal. Because Luca, we, yes, yes sir. I accidentally put the parsley in the pot. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> How do I recover? Do I have to start from scratch? <laughs> no, take it out. If you have, um, if you can take it out. Obviously, with a um, big one, like a strainer or something like something like this, like a spoon, a spoon with all, so that you can just like scoop it out, really. As long as you got some parsley left, this should be okay. The single time. So we're just here preparing preparing this parsley. And in the meantime, while I'm doing this, I'll also away away my pasta. So I know how much I'm using. It's gonna be a little bit of a noise. Okay. So it's it would be a little bit more than a little bit more than half. So I've been using 300 grams. Too much. So, using 300 grams of pasta. <clears throat> now, there is the difference between using a good quality pasta like this one or uh, something like the um, you know the, the supermarkets on brands, um, which which we never never ever use. If you can avoid it, uh, please don't use don't use that lower quality pasta because you will ruin will ruin your own dish. Um, the one thing there is one easy way to see when a pasta is is good quality or not is to see the the recommended cooking times. Now, um, if you look at I mean I don't know if you can see if you can if you, if you can see it on the screen. That on this pasta will say cooking time al dente twelve minutes. Okay, that means that it takes it takes a while to cook decent pasta. If you buy one that is ready in five minutes, it, a is not Italian and b is not worth eating. Okay, so we have very few ingredients. Make sure that those very few ingredients that you use are really really good quality. Um, so. All the dry pasta that we use, the normal thing for non for non um, people that don't have a problem with gluten, we use this make, the chicken, 
for the people that have um, gluten problem, they have to use uh, gluten-free pasta. Then um, we found that this one is really, the Czech doesn't produce a gluten-free pasta. But this one by Barilla is, uh, is, is very good. And, and the, best, uh, the best alternative uh, we have found um, um, you know, to, to normal pasta. Okay, so as you can see, this is a very, very, very gently now start to, to simmer. There is no hurry. I mean, it, there is, there is really, um, it doesn't really take long, take long to cook. So once it starts, once the oil starts bubbling, then, you know, in a couple of minutes, in a couple of minutes, it will, you know, it will have the cooking, cooking time that we need. Um, so we really want to uh, time it. Uh, time, uh, time with the you know we, when we put the the pasta the pasta in the water. Really. So the pasta will take about um, you know we as, as I just told you it takes twelve minutes to cook properly, but we want to take it out a little bit earlier because we want to finish the cooking um, in the pan. So we we'll, we we'll take it out about one or two minutes uh, before the twelve minutes that we, that we recommend it. Um, uh, and then, and then we will uh, we'll finish the cooking with together with the you know, with the garlic and, and the pasta. Okay, Luca. Yeah. Can you just can you just tell us what we did up to now so I can check? Did we put pasta in already or not? Okay, what we did we put the garlic in there, a crush of the garlic, put it in there with the olive oil, and I put all the um, parsley stalks. And some of the leaves, you know, don't have to be too too precise. With it. All the you know, all the thicker, the thicker part of the parsley is already in there. Okay, so it starts um, it starts uh, cooking and softening up. Okay, and and just so the other thing, we just put the water in the you know the water on the on, in the pan, ready ready to boil. I might actually switch it to um, to the bigger to the bigger hole so that it cooks. Pasta. There we go. So, and I get ready my uh, salt. Now, the, we put salt in the water once the, once the water boils. Okay, um, now this is a big, big thing about cooking pasta and something that I find um, not many restaurants, even Italian restaurants in the, in the UK uh, manage to do. If you don't put salt in the water, and I'll show you how much to put in, um, the pasta will be tasteless. Doesn't matter how good the sauce is, the, 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 the pasta will not come out right. So although we're going to put quite a lot of salt in there, Obviously, you're not, you're not eating all that salt because the salt will dissolve in the water and then when we use the colander, a lot of that water will be, will be thrown away. So it's just a way for um, the pasta to absorb some of the, some of the salt in the, you know, in, in the water and then be nice and tasty when we, when we add the salt. Okay, so this is just about to start, to start boiling. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So for this for this quantity of uh, of water, there's about let's say about three and a half liters of, of water in there. I will be putting two tablespoons of salt, so quite a lot. Okay, you can see. You can see three. So that's one and two. So we, this will slow the, you know, the boiling down a little bit. So we'll take another minute to, to boil. And when it's ready, we can, uh, we can throw the pasta in. In the meantime, if you can, can you, can you see the pan? There is a really nice smell of garlic here as the garlic is starting to cook. What, what we want to do, be very careful. We don't want to fry the garlic. We just want you to, to gently color, okay? And as soon as it as soon as it's um, it's starting to color, it's that then we'll be we'll be ready for the next step. So at the moment we have some of the parsley in there with the garlic. 
you got a nice a nice bunch of, bunch of parsley here now we're going to use some of this um, to prepare the sauce and a little bit at the end okay so um, we almost ready to put the pasta in now another little trick of cooking long long pasta like linguine or spaghetti is before you put it in i will be breaking it in half this is because um, if you you can leave it you can leave it uh, as it is if you want the only thing is going to be make it really difficult to eat i don't know if you've been having an italian restaurant trying to eat pasta with your thing and just like half the plate comes out so this makes eating it at the end of it when it's ready a lot easier so um in a minute once the water once the water is actually boiling i'll be breaking this and putting it in I'll just get myself a fork to um to turn it to turn it around when it's uh, when it's in Really, really good already. It's making me, it's making me hungry already. Any question at this stage? No. Okay, so we're ready to put the pasta in. That's it. I'm breaking this in half. I'm turning in and give it a good turn this is important that you do it as soon as you put the pasta in because you don't want it you don't want it to stick that's why you need you need the pan um that it's, that it's um, large enough um so that you can you have you have room for the pasta to move around in there now this is cooked a little bit we put it in a little bit uh, so at the moment I'll turn it off. There's no need of there's no need of putting it in more. And in a second I would say I would show you another little bit of another little trick. Which is very important as this is just not not just the water they, the, the pasta is cooked in, but we also be using some of this water in the in the sauce. And um, I love a mug ready. So you can start getting yourself like a, a mug or something else where you can save some of the cooking water because before we um, before we take the pasta out, we actually save some of the cooking water in case. When you put the pasta in the pan, if it comes a little bit too dry, then we love and we love a little bit of, uh, of cooking water uh, to help um, to help keeping keeping the pasta nice and um, moist. Um, so keep turning this around. This will take about ten minutes. Now. So I can see at the moment it's still very you see it's still very rigid. Now, what I'll do, um, I'll turn this back on. Uh, and I've already looked at it um, again before. So what I'll be doing now, I will add about, let's say, about half of this parsley. Put it back in, like this. And I'll keep. And I'll keep a little bit for the for the end, just to add to the last minute. And a lot, I will add a, a few about let's say about three spoonfuls, large spoonfuls of, of cooking water. Um, to the sauce and this I will leave it like this on a very low heat cooking gently for 
How many, how many tea um, water, how much water? I put about three, three large spoonfuls. Tablespoon? Yeah, like a, can you see? Oh, okay, like a big spoon, like a, okay. Like this. And you okay. can have, you know, three or four. Three or four. Now mixing, mixing with the, with the parsley. As you can see, can you can you show a close up of the pan? Um, as you can see, this is really is really really cooking very gently. Mm. Okay, so it's one of those dishes that doesn't really. It, the ingredients are very fresh, and you want to keep them fresh. We don't want to. Um, we don't want to overcook it. This at the moment is still it's still quite rigid, so it's nowhere near nowhere near ready. It'll take a few more minutes. Luca, is your spaghetti pot is the water boiling in your pot? Yes, can you see? Can okay, you... so I need to get mine to boil, okay. Right. Okay, so it's after it boiling. <laughs> <clears throat> and I say I never, I never waste a good, uh, good olive oil in the, in the cooking water because it's not really needed. Um, I will post all these later. By the way, I don't, I don't know if you've seen on the Facebook page. I've, I've, um, I've listed all the things that I'm using, all the ingredients, and also, also the. Um, Different um, implements like the garlic brush or the pots and whatever. So, if you if you need to um, if you don't have some of these things, I mean normally you can get it from your local supermarket. But you want to order them from from Amazon like that. I've included some Amazon links um, to these these things. Mm -hmm. Now. Um, if you're not sure about it, about when to take the pasta out, I mean, I don't, I don't generally bother to put a timer in simply because we can, we can see, we can see when the pasta is ready, ready. But if you want to make sure that you don't get it wrong, then then put a timer when um, when you put the pasta in the water. This will still take a few minutes. Also, if you if you try um, like a um, one one ingredient or some spaghetti right now, and you taste it, you can you can hear that there is there is quite a bit there is still like crunchy inside. So that needs to cook um, a little bit longer before before we can um, um, actually drain drain the pasta in the blender. It won't be long now, so I'll start getting this ready. This is looking. This is looking good as well. Can you show it close up? I mean, the best way of telling when this is ready is really by the aroma and the smell that is um, that's coming from it. As, as you can see, you know, it's not it's not hard cooking. It ge just gently cook to release um, to release the flavor. It just really, in a way, almost almost kind of like wilted rather than cooked. You can see it's very, very gently, very, very gently bubbling now. Okay. 
can see if this is this is now ready to come out or not. Almost. I would say another minute. Another minute and we'll take it out. So what I'm doing now, and um, when I'm just waiting a good two other minutes, I will I will get a mug. Or I mean, if you if you're not comfortable with this and you want to, do, you can you can use a um, well, what's it called mm -hmm. a ladle uh, to take some of the boiling water out. But you can also do this. And so I have this. I have plenty of water that is almost like a full mug. Plenty of cooking water, and then I can then I can use to finish off uh, finish off the pasta. So let's see now. Let's taste it. If this is ready. Yeah, it's a little bit al dente as we want it. So I'll turn the heat off. And let's drain. Let's drain this. Now I haven't drained all the water out of it because we still want it. We still want it pretty moist. So as you can see, there's still there's still water coming out. And now we are ready to cook it. In fact, let me get this out of the way so I can I can put it in this one. If you're cooking it on a low heat, as you can see, this is on a minimal minimal setting. And once we so put the pasta, yep. Yeah. So. What have you done? I've missed. So you've you've turned off your you take you drained your spaghetti and then you you had to leave uh, water in the pot. Did you say? No, no. I say when I drained the spaghetti, I didn't drain them to get them really dry. They were still they were still dripping with water, really. Ah. Okay. So I put them in there, and now I want to finish finish cooking them in the pan. So I put now I added the re the rest of the the rest of the parsley I had. I put a little bit of water like this. So I'll leave them cooking for another minute. For another minute here in the pot. And what you want to do, whenever you're cooking any pasta sauce, the, the worst mistake you can do is to get it, the finished product to be too dry. So really you want to you want to leave it nice and fluid. You can see it. So we'll cook it for a few more seconds, then another 30 seconds, and then it will be ready to dish out. Oh. Okay, so it's very, very quick as you can see. So we've added night right now at the end we added the remaining the remaining parsley that we had. Added a little bit of um, cooking water. Uh, don't ask me quantities because I do everything by eye. But I would say maybe it's like two or three spoonfuls of of cooking water and it's now ready. So as you can see this, I just want to get, it's difficult to show on a video, but I want to show, show you the consistency. This is not dry at all. It's still nice and nice and moist. Yeah. So it's now ready to be shelled. So there we are. Uh, the one, the one step that I forgot actually to mention is that if you, if you like a little bit of heat, um, you know, midway through the cooking, you could have added a little bit of dry chili. Um, in this case, I haven't added any, but this is. This is spaghetti, aglio, actually, linguine, aglio e olio. Is, are any of you ready, uh, ready with their dish? Quite. What were the cloves for, Luca? Sorry? What were the cloves for? The cloves, we mean the garlic cloves. Oh, garlic cloves. <laughs> the beginning. Oh. This, this, is what, this is the main ingredient, was the garlic in the beginning. Did you forget that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Can you have a look? Can I take, can I have a look? I'll come to the other side of the camera so I can see as well. Where are you? So is it ready? Is your pasta ready? Uh, oh. My pasta is still cooking. Your pasta is still cooking. <laughs> Uh, this is Rosaline, uh, your next trip has to be to Italy. Oh no, you put the garlic. Dish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Oh wow! Yeah, it looks yeah, it looks good. It's good. <laughs> I have to taste it. Just check check if it is a little bit dry. Just check that it's not too dry. If it is a little bit dry, just add a few drops of um, cooking water. Just see how it's done. So we have a, we have now a light tasting cleaner. <laughs> Okay, I'll just quickly teach him to taste it, be the first one. What's that? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Very, very nice. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I'll finish picking this up. Very nice, Luca. You're very welcome. So this is one of the main, the main um, ways of preparing pasta. Um, on the next, uh, on the next cooking class, we um, there are there are two options. I want to kind of like poll you a little bit. I can either um, show you how to cook the tomato, the simple tomato base like tomato and basil uh, pasta, or we could do a risotto. What would you think? I'll take it. I'll take um, votes. Risotto. Risotto. Um, Anybody else? I wanted to say pasta. Sorry, you prefer the pasta? So one time one, one time the other. What about Wendy? Yeah, so we can do both at a different what time. Does, what does Wendy yeah. like? Say so risotto. I love risotto. Yeah. Oh, pop. Resort, okay. Complicate things, yeah. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's simple. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I want to go through the, these first few um, uh, demonstrations. I, I want to go through the, the basic preparations of, um, of Italian cooking. So um, the next two is going to be like, one is going to be the risotto and then the next one um, is going to be like um, basil and, uh, and fresh tomatoes uh, pasta. So, I can go now and enjoy this. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed it and um, and and hope to see you again next uh, next week. Yes, we... thank you, Luca. It was fun. That's okay. No, it's, yes, uh, it's thank no, you. No, thank no, you. No, bye bye. Bye bye. I hope you got I hope you got some tips from uh, from this. Okay. Yes, so, it was great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. Enjoy. Bye. Thank you. We'll see you bye. Next week. bye bye. Bye. bye.